Hello, welcome Aries, amazing Aries. Hey, uh, I just did a reading for you and my phone did this trip where it suddenly decided it was full. <laughs> so I'm going to start over. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. This is going to be for February for the sign of Aries. For uh, if you have an Aries moon rising or a Venus, this might relate to you as well. No telling, right? But I, I'm very good at tapping into the collective. And when I opened my channel in February of 2018, it was Aries who got me on the ball, man. The first reading I posted, you guys were all over me like flies on, honey. It was crazy. I have books and books filled of Aries readings. That's all anonymous. It's only my eyes only, right? Except for maybe one person on the planet who had a ability to do some blogging for me. Otherwise, um, everything should be sacred. My darlings, how interesting you are right now. Mars is in your planet. Um, it is the 20th of January, and I'm looking forward to February's energy. Um, of course, I don't have any psychic, so I, I already tap in way in advance. I even sometimes read a little too fast. I know. Hey, this is Aries reading. You can't stop. Spirit wants me to talk, you know, for a minute. Well, I know you you got a lot to do. So thank you so much for being here, my babes. We want to look at your love life, right? Wow, snap. Give me a minute. There it is. Let's take a look. What did they tell you what I have here, though, is my triple thread sign. This is the one that I spray on my door handles, my doors, um, around the window sashes. Uh, I do it around myself in a circular motion and under my feet complete circle, and then declare the Michael the Archangel uh, invocation. This will completely blast out any creature being, um, energy form, anything, cords, ties, curses. It, it just blasts it all out, and you get to say it yourself. And when you say it yourself, I ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, you're going to win it. You're going to knock that crap out of its skin. It will leave you alone. And this is what you get for $15 plus crystals, a little bag of hematite chips. Come with that. I'm not going to spray it now because I already did that once. Then I have a track, uh, reset your attraction vibe after a situation where you didn't feel like dating anymore. And this is a time when you want to get back and you're in that vibe again. This is perfect for that. And it's Reiki uh, empowered for your beautiful love so that you can access a very special kind of part of yourself. And revamp yourself, reset your vibration. This is lovely. Oh my God, it's so nice. So this is Attract Love and Abundance, and it comes with the Aya Mantra for healing yourself. And one that I wrote, it's very lovely. And it comes with crystals as well. And then we have the Sacred Holy Mist Temple Scent. It is very much the smell of what I would have smelled in an ancient temple, but very lovely assignment of the living God, help me to read for you. Thank you, and help us to, um, and I can not say, help us to bring forth the messages that Aries need. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, my beloveds. Casting out anything that does not vibrate at a high vibration, it will not resonate. All right, let's go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. This is going to be for February 2023. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Oh, Lord. That's it. Nine of Wands. Obviously, someone is a very tired. The end of their rope. Let me move my phone. My other phone. Aries, my beloveds. Keep going. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me. Why do we have... Well, let's talk about your Celtic cross. It'll explain it. All right. Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me. Show me, Aries. Um situation at this time what are they showing up like on this planet collective of aries come on in and we're calling in the holy spirit we're calling in the divine beloveds we're calling in the higher vibrational frequencies that can be sustained over the fifth dimension or higher they will understand <clears throat> you've got ancestors and you've got holy guides and we're just calling them into presence but we will not allow anything wicked lower or um, negative in our space it is blocked in the name of Jesus Christ. So, how are you showing up? Let's see. Aries. How's Aries showing up right now on the planet? How's Aries showing up right now? Wow. 
can't take them all. There's just too many coming out. How's Ari showing up right now? <clears throat> As a magician, the manifestor, using that Mars energy to your benefit, somehow making uh, making ends meet or make, manifesting much, much more than you expect. But you're in a very powerful uh, creative phase right now. And you take what you have and you make the best of it. You somehow manifest things in this really amazing time or with who you are. What's crossing the Aries at this time? Now, here's the beginning. You know, the, the very beginning of a cycle is how do you set your life pattern to go forward? What are you doing? What are you saying in the environment to create your life pattern, Aries? What are you thinking? What are you, um, are you using the universal laws as above, so below to your benefit? Do you know that the sword represents your tongue and your thoughts? That the cup represents your emotions and feelings and, and your body and your wellness? Um, and that the wand represents your sexual energy, your life force, and your intentions, right? And then you have the pentacles, which represents, well, technically your body. But your possessions and your space and your relationships. Anything that's grounded and stable. Money. What's crossing you? Heartbreak. Mm. You know what I hear? I'm just tired of carrying this heartbreak around. It's so disappointing. What's, what does that mean, spirit? Yeah. You just wish somebody would unblock you so that you could talk to them. Or see what's going on. But you're broken hearted for some reason. Why are you blocked and why are you broken hearted? Let me ask that. And why are you so defeated at this time? Not all of you. Not all of you. Because the original reading was really good. It was like taking ownership of a new cycle. But this here looks like somebody that we tapped into. It could be universal. All over the world, right? I hope you guys are seeing my stuff. If you, if you come across this again and you like what I do... Well, of all, by all means, subscribe and hit the all bell so you don't miss my stuff when it comes out. All right. What does this mean, Spirit? Someone's tired, but they're very, very happy. They're happy. They found something that makes them very happy. Those rejoicing here. Interesting. Could be family. Happy family. But something has got you blocked. I wonder what it is. A single person that's very, very wealthy, perhaps. Um, they have power, but they're also very strict, withdrawn, and um, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they've got the money. And it's not that this is a greedy person. This is a sensible person. Um, they're very spiritual. <clears throat> and they're abundant naturally. So whatever this is, they've got you blocked. Maybe they're not, they, maybe one of you guys went ratchet on them, you know. And, and they just couldn't do that. I'm like, I can't. I wanted to commit to you, but what? So the past has always been consumed with small offers, things not working out, and always this never-ending reconciliation energy. You're like, would you please stop that, spirit? So what you have done is very wise. You took the thoughts that matter the most, and you took off. You're like, I got to go. That's what you're doing. I got to go. I need peace of mind, whatever that is. So you, you're reinventing your situation and going towards your Ten of Cups, I think. Aries, tell me more. Yep, you're on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. You might be working with a cancer person, but you're traveling and you are communicating about it. I had a feeling, while well, some of you may be like delivery drivers like, I don't know. And some of you just might be traveling. What's on the higher mind of our Aries at this time? Inner strength. What does it take to be who you are, where you are, to reinvent this thing? Because I want to show you something. No matter what's crossing you, you still have your destiny on your mind. The longevity of your destiny and your patterns. So you're really focusing on that. And you've done something on the inside. You're like, I need to be strong. I need to be strong. I need to be strong. And some of you overcame some of the hardest crap ever. And you're powerful. I love it. I love how Jesus is here. Jesus, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, here to help you. Oh, what is the future? Oh, shit. Well, <clears throat> this doesn't have to be you. But if it is you... 
is somebody ending something because somebody is so effing cruel. You can no longer take this person here that has it but won't share it or who has it and remains single or they act like they're single and they don't think you see it. They don't think you see their behavior out here and you're like, oh, hell no. I got to be strong. I'm trying to make this relationship work, but it's really dark. It's not going to work. I got to figure out how to keep my sanity, move forward quickly, get on the go, communicate my needs, put in applications in or whatever, get on the dating scene. Something happens here, though. You're going to have to keep your eyes peeled because that, that seems a little bit strict. It's like somebody stabs you in the back after you leave. So keep your eyes peeled and keep your spiritual armor on. Um, offers will be made. You'll be able to um, maybe get another job or maybe you'll be able to have a solid offer come your way so that it will help heal the damage of someone throwing shade at you behind your back. Do you hear what I'm saying? I think you know what I mean. You are sitting in the energy of the love. You are the love. You are the loved one that's been done wrong. Take my word for it, or you would not have gotten the Ten of Cups right up by that burden. You got it. Someone has burdened you. Oh, my beautifuls. I'm so sorry. Let's take a look at your environment. So Ace of Cups is self-refreshment. This is where the Holy Spirit says, okay, come on. Come on, child. Let the tears out, and I'm going to refill your cup with power, with an endless supply of self-nurturance, healing, mercy, and refreshment. And it might be absolutely a new, brand new, brand new, brand spanking new person. Tell me about the energies uh, that they're in right now, though. They're showing the energy of someone making an offer or someone saying, yes, you can stay with me, or yes, I have tickets to that show, or yes, I want to take you on a date. Yes, I want to spend time with you, a lot of time with you. Like maybe forever, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, middle-aged kind of person. Uh, oh, my God. I like this person. So if you're moving from one crummy relationship to a really good one, well, that's because God's helping you move there. You've got, obviously got God's favor because you have the Ten of Cups. And only people that know God get that really. That, I mean, fully, fully in its full form of complete happiness. The soul is completely balanced. Everything's balanced. Everything's happy. And people aren't angry around you or manipulating or playing games or being low vibe. They're right on time. They're righteous. They're clean before God. So they're actually happy people. This is where you're going towards happy people. But sometimes you get stabbed in the back on the way out the door. Sometimes for a couple of years. But you're strong as hell and you keep bouncing back because you've been blessed with not only strength, but temperance. Temperance is when you learn the secret skill of keeping your shit together when everybody else is losing theirs around you and they've, they're, they're in some delusional state that their dark magic or their gossip is going to affect you. But they don't realize that you may be one of the 144,000 or something. It's not going to touch you because you have a strong prayer shield around you. And, of course, that would mean angels as well. Um, so your outcome is that of happiness and, and joy. Mm-hmm. I think that's what God wants is you to have a happy February, happy, how's Valentine's Day going to be for Aries? Tell me, Spirit. Tell us, Spirit. Aries, the beloved's here. Come on. Let me come, come show for my Aries. Ha ha. A new opportunity, a brand new start. This may be the day when you make a choice to go with somebody and share the load and be prosperous together, maybe. Yeah. And not hang around to wait to see what everybody in the whole wide world thinks. Flinging yourself into this new love. And communicating regularly and being making it grow. Hello, Aries. Show up for yourself, will you? You could be the male or female. It doesn't matter because my readings are not gender specific. You are who you are, my beautiful. So it goes. So spirit, how nice you are. One more. Yeah, walking away from the, the very dissatisfied and unsatisfying burdening stuff. So, calling judgment and setting something down, dude. And uh, not looking back at that either. But also not being so hard that you can't receive this new love. Go, f You go for it, babies. Guess what, marriage? Would I lie to you? Heck no. 
Heck no, heck no. I'm going to do a love message real quick, and then I'll see how you get along with everybody else. How's the time on this reading? It doesn't tell me this particular one. Okay. Wow, attraction. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Somebody caught your eye. Babe. Oh, shit, I told you. Did I tell you? Wedding. You might have met somebody at a wedding, too. Oh, my God. And that just sparked you up. You've been spending time getting to know somebody. Shit, there's the engagement. I promise I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I promise I can't. How interesting. Let me get another deck so we can look at you and everybody else, and then we'll see what else shows up, spirit. What is this deck? I don't think that's it. I'll use this one. All right, Aries, my darlings. Numero uno, I had to do a good reading for you. It's been a while, right? I don't want to do frivolous readings, and I don't want to do careless things. I want to tap right into them. Let me make sure I got all my cards out. Okay, my my beautiful Aries. Let's see. Aries, someone rising Venus, North, Moon, Cross, Rising. We're check, checking to see how they're going to get along in February with these particular signs, which will be more pleasing to them and which may cause them some kind of stress. Who, who should they maybe consider a little more attention to and maybe somebody a little less attention to them? Spirit, show me. Show me Aries people. Show me Aries and these types of energies during this month. It's going to be very touch and go because you have Mars and Aries right now. I don't know, man. Because you know what I mean? You're setting off these seeds of passion. And I just know that it's going to be like shifting your energy and your direction strong. This looks really good, though. Spirit. Okay. They're shuffled. Give me a minute. They're shuffled. Aries, my dears. So when I read these... I usually do like a yes or no. I'll explain to you why I say that so I don't spend hours and hours trying to see how you're getting along with everybody. If, if, if it looks like it's going to be a harsh um, relationship based on what I'm seeing here, what you're doing now, I'll tell you. You know, if I say no, it might mean back off, but you decide that because you know who you're dealing with. I do not. But mercy me, we will see. Because we love you and we love them too, right? We love you and we love them too. That's the coolest thing. Hold on one sec. What the heck? That is so strange. Hmm. All right, here we go, my Aries people. Let's look, my darlings. Aries and every other sign. You ready? One more shuffle. There you go. All right, here we go. Aries and Aries combo. What do we have? Oh, Knight of Pentacles. That might be a good deal. If you're working with another Aries, that might not be such a bad deal. That's a yeah in February. Aries and Taurus. There's the Empress. That's a yeah, too, unless she has a problem. Let's find out what her deal is. Knight of Swords in reverse. She's not told you she's pregnant. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry to spill the beans on somebody. But somebody hasn't, somebody's got an issue with a Taurus baby mama. And she might not have told somebody that she was pregnant. Let me see. Clarify spirit. Yes, she's definitely looking forward to that offspring. I don't know who you are, but bless you. We're going on to Gemini and Aries. All right, my dears, Gemini and Aries. And Gemini is the queen of pentacles in reverse, so that's non-committal and not talking about it. Hmm. And yeah. Not putting much effort into this relationship at all. Nah, there's things she's hiding from you. Oh, Lord. Uh, you figure that out. I heard she, and I'm just going to tell you what they give me. So that's what I'm, I'm channeling. We have Aries um, Cancer. Inner strength, power, overcoming things, changing their destiny. 
Two of Cups, the lover, the soulmate, the eye to eye. Yes, some of you, your person is indeed a Cancer. That's a yes. Leo and Aries, judgment, revival, refreshment coming back after Ten of Swords. Uh, I don't think so. So some of you ended it completely and walked away from a Leo or are going to because of this fact shit of stabbing you in the back, stabbing you in the back, stabbing you in the back, causing you to suffer so much. You had no choice. So God called judgment for you. He sure did. He was a heart font. God called judgment on that Leo, whoever they are. I don't, I don't blame him one bit. So, yeah. Six of Cups in reverse on that Leo. That's going to make sure that this relationship does not hurt you anymore. The future of that one. Yeah, divorce and Ten of Pentacles, inheritance and money. Oh, my God. You're going to come out big time on that. God wanted you to see that. Oh, my goodness, Aries. Oh, snap. You might get really, really rich. Let's go on to Virgo. Virgo's good communication. Virgo has, they're telling you about their pain. They're, they're filling you in on their heartbreak and that they put down all the burdens in the past. And so you have a Virgo here who's willing to put the work in. Okay, good, Aries. They're really liking on you. All right, Libra and Aries is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Not juggling, but not quite walking away. This Libra is doing the tower. All righty. They didn't want to leave. They're wobbly and they want to stay in your energy and peek and poke. You know what I mean? This person wants to peek and poke in your biz and you're like, mm. wow. Scorpio and Aries. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Happy. Joy. Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody putting down their guards and freeing up their love energy. Even though it's not a full ten of cups, it's in reverse. Why? Because someone didn't get justice somewhere and they don't feel balanced about it and they pulled their heart back. So you have a Scorpio or an Aries that has pulled their heart back. It looks like a Scorpio. Yeah, they're hermit. And if something hurt them, devastated them. Aries. And Sagittarius, Nine of Pentacles, they're a single person. They might be the one that crossed you as well, too. They were crossing you and being greedy or something. Yeah, Eight of Swords, keeping something secret from you as well. Ooh, that's a no. That's definitely a no. Capricorn and Aries, there's somebody here that's married to a Capricorn or attracting one. And he's Daddy Warbucks. He's got something to give you. Yep. Could be a, uh, he could have a Pisces moon. Hangman, he's been waiting. Whoever you are, he's been waiting for your presence. I think he's, you know, he's grounded. He might be a man of God, so he knows. Wait for God to bring my divine to me. And there you are, Aries. All right. Aquarius and Aries. The end of a cycle. No more. We're starting something brand new. As of now, the emperor. So that, that could be you. And you're sitting here taking authority over all of this. The lovers and the choices and the decisions between you and this Aquarius. How patient you have been or they have been. How someone didn't show love and doesn't give love. So the choice has to be made with this Aquarius. All right. Pisces and Aries. Nice. Queen of Cups. Loving. Caring. Connection. It's good. There's a lot of good. Stuff. Um, someone feels like they're not getting their fair share of attention. They feel left out in the cold. King of Wands is in reverse too. They don't have, they don't want to come back, even though they love you. They don't have the energy to come back. They feel defeated. Somebody feels defeated. Yeah, they're not going to make the offer, but they're st still going to sit in that love, but also figure out ways to get rid of this massive distress they're in. Pisces might be spying on you as well. The devil's in reverse. So somebody's doing spiritual warfare on your behalf. See? Eight of Wands. I think the divine's doing that on your behalf for you, Aries. It's divine favor, babies. All right. Let's see. Do we have a... Let me give you a soul card. It's a message from Isis. Miracle of Isis. Isis offers a miracle healing. 
No matter how much you have struggled with a particular matter, no matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound, addiction, problem, relationship issue, or this inner struggle as being part of it, you're guided now to accept the possibility of miraculous healing. Let go and let the goddess be. Interesting. <sighs> let go and let the goddess be. I think I understand that very well. Let me see what the, our beautiful fairy energies want to say to my uh, Aries, because I know you like that information. Tree wisdom, spend some time outside. Get some insight from nature. And what will happen in February? Good time. A new romantic cycle is beginning. And I absolutely knew it. And look at I think it might be a strong Libra. Came out Libra. Whoa, you guys, that was so incredible. Well, listen, I am doing private readings if you want one. Um, my main reading is a three-card reading in it, but it covers the whole table, I'm sure. We don't quit until the message is done. Right, Aries? So if you'd like to tap into what I do and offer, um, I'd be grateful to, to serve you. And um, contact me, robinsbrownreadings.net or .com. Either way, I'll, I'll get it, okay? I dig you. I love you. Send you off with love and healing. Namaste.